Aubrey, are you um, anxious, scared, curious, what crazy shit they're gonna have you doing <laughs> this All season? All of the above. All of the above. I just sit and stare out my window and wonder, like, what's gonna happen? Can you give me a specific example of something that you're like, help me understand this? One time I was like, who am I? Am I real? Show me your ring. That's actually kind of offensive. Why? Because it's your middle finger. It's just a finger. It's the only one that the ring fits on. I don't believe you. What do you believe? In God. Great, so on that note. I see how it is. Nominated for an Emmy, and now you're a thing. Don't be a bitch right now. This is my day. Don't ruin it. Don't you look down on this kind of thing? This revelry? I sold my soul to the devil. This is the first time I'm wearing a long dress, so soak it in, America. Get used to this shit. How is your skin handling it, the reaction to the expensive fabric? Um, my half Puerto Rican Delaware skin is like, what the f is happening right now? Where are my American Apparel gym shorts? But get used to it, body. I heard this is the season April gets pregnant. You don't know what you're talking about. I don't, I made it up. He's a liar. What's going on this season? What's happening with them? Um, April and Andy are married, so we get to see them be a married couple, which is amazing because they're so weird. And they still live with Ben, Adam Scott's character. And uh, they're like a weird little threesome in that house. Um, and Leslie Nope is maybe, possibly going on the campaign trail. So seeing how everyone uh, fits into that nonsense is going to be pretty awesome. I heard Andy's going to be uh, Leslie's assistant. Yeah, Andy gets a new job. And um, he takes it very seriously, and he wears a suit. And we've never seen Andy in a suit before, and he sweats a lot in a suit. Why are you crying? I'm not crying. It's hot. I'm not hot. That's a lie. So all kidding aside, I just wanted to say, how do you think I look tonight? You look fine. You always look good. I like your white shirt. It's so unique. You. Thanks for coming over. Yeah, you're the only one I'm talking to tonight. Do I look like a witch? No. You look like an angel, always. I have a wand in my purse. Let me see it. No. Please, pull out your wand. No, only special people can see it. So, give me some predictions, Emmy predictions. It's the same each year. Um, I don't know who's nominated. I'm not. What is it like working with Chris Pratt ripped, ripped Chris Pratt? How is it different working? It's boring. I like him when he's big and soft and round. I prefer him that way. But it's it's always good with him. He's the best. Throw, throw a... a you like being in the sun like that? It's amazing. I don't sweat unlike most people. Me neither. I've never sweat in my life. Throw me a park scoop. April uh, steals Anne's baby and um, moves to Bloomington and becomes a veterinarian. That's a lie. I don't read the, I I don't read the scripts. I know it's a lie. You don't read the scripts? No, I, I, don't, I don't know how to read. I heard that April is going to step up and fill the best friend void when Anne leaves for Leslie. I hope so. I think she's ready for that. I don't know. I'm not good at scoops. What else is going on? Nothing. What's around your neck? I don't know. Can I touch it? Be careful, they're magical. Do you like my tie? Yeah, it looks great. Um, you look very pretty. Thank you, this was great. Okay. I, we both got a lot out of this. This was amazing, yeah. it lived up to the hype. This week we welcome Parks and Recreation's Aubrey Plaza to the Red Couches, where she's going to tell us whether Leslie wins or loses the big election, and she's also got some Andy and April scoop. Also, we will be venturing back in time to reenact a seminal Buffy the Vampire Slayer scene in Spoiler Alert Theater. Aubrey, welcome to the show. Thank you for having me. Lovely to be here with you. Lovely to be in your office. Leslie, does she win or does she lose? I can't tell you. Oh, I thought you were going to. No. Do you know? No, I don't read the scripts. I heard they shot two endings. One if she did win and one if she lost. 
I also feel like this season we are seeing a more um, sort of multifaceted, layered April. She's actually having some nice, real human moments. Well, real and human, not words you usually you say that, Michael. With her. She is a human. <laughs> um, she's not like a robot. What's going on with Andy in April? I hear a baby on the horizon. Every day I ask them to get me pregnant. I want it so bad. Sometimes I'll just improvise. I'll say my lines and then I'll be like, oh, and by the way, I'm pregnant. And then they'll be like, cut, you're not pregnant yet. And I'm like, please. Yet. And I'll just get really pregnant because I'm a method actor. By whom? I don't know. Who do you think? I don't know. Let me get back to you. Okay. I'll send you a list. Great. What is going on for Andy and April in these last couple episodes? They just love each other. Boring. A lot of touching, mouth on mouth action. Yeah. Throw me a finale spoiler. I know you can't say whether Leslie wins or not. It's all about the campaign, which I can't really tell you what happens. Think about it for a second. We're gonna pause for a moment and we're gonna cut to- There's alcohol. Pause for just a moment. Think about uh, it. Say, wait for something good. So. We're gonna cut to a special edition of Spoiler Alert Theater. What did you think? Exhilarating. Yeah. What do you think really of Buffy? Really good. Oh, Buffy's amazing. Um, the character or, or the performance? <laughs> so we're gonna make small talk now while the credits roll. Oh, okay. But seriously, I am pregnant and um, it's not going well because it's Ryan Gosling's. And no one knows, but um, so don't tell anyone. No. And this won't have audio, so don't worry about oh, it. Oh, it's fine. Yeah, it's just, yeah. Um. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. That's not what it looked like. 